first of all, the opportunity to get somebody that's very seasoned uh, as we head into the ACC, but somebody that definitely is a changed person. Uh, I don't think anybody will ever quarrel with his knowledge in the game. He's as good as I've ever seen, ever been around. I've been around many NFL guys. I know what his reputation is. I think the opportunity to get the change is probably the dream of the soul. And uh, like I said in, earlier in my statement, uh, if it was the same Bobby eight years ago, I wasn't able to. And I had to be convinced of that. How were you convinced? The most important thing to me was Becky. That was the most important thing. I thought that when I got to spend time with her, uh, is, is to see firsthand how she, and, and he had pretty much, he had pretty much told me things were great, but I wanted to hear it from her, and I wanted to look her in. I'm a real big believer in looking people in the eye. I don't want to do phones or texts, and I just want to look her in the eye. She sold me. She sold me. I can care less about the legacy. When I'm gone, I'm going to Steve Springs, Colorado. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. I can care less about that. Are you surprised this worked out the way it did? The only I'm surprised that is Charlie went to Texas. That's all. Absolutely. Having a guy like him talk about the equity of the brand, especially the community. Well, the, the great thing about him, first and foremost, is he knows what to do between the lines. He'll know how to get this team ready. And uh, I think the only surprise in this entire situation to me was the outpouring of support this guy has. Because I, I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't live through it this week. I would not have believed it. Um, I'm, Minimum of 100 players that come to the next players. 30 or 20 or 30 of them in the NFL. They just clamored for these guys. This is a, these are people that played four years for him, or three years, or two years for him. So they've been through his, his uh, style, which is his tough. It's demanding. They love him. They adore him. I've never, ever in my career seen an outpour as these people have worked on Got to get him here. we got to do whatever we can to get him. The greatest influence on my life ever. When did you entertain the thought that he could come back? Well, when I was in Colorado last week, last week I thought, you know, it's just, you know, I wanted to get through all the, I wanted to get through all the, the garbage, you know, for better, lack of a better word. Once I got through all that, I felt comfortable. And I knew he was the right guy. Buyout to me is not even important. He told me to put 100 million. He's not going anywhere. I, I'm, you know, I've all been wrong before. I've been wrong. So. But he, I, I feel that this is his last stop. It's his destination. He wants to stay. He wants 15 years. You looked at other Tony guys and Bobby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of the Hello. Just generally speaking, what, what does he have that still has anything? Well, he's well seasoned. I'm I'm a big believer. My children will tell you that I'm a big believer in who can come back from adversity. Life's real yeah. easy when people are patting you on the back. Life is so. Yeah. Who can come from adversity? Has anybody been through more adversity than him? I can't imagine. I can't imagine. So to me, that's the PhD. Of who could come through adversity? You really pride yourself on giving second chances and them succeeding. Why do you feel like you keep okay. giving second chances? Just the way I was brought up. I, I believe I need to forget. I need to forget. When he left, I can't tell you how mad I wasn't here. I can't tell you. But one thing that's kind of gotten lost in, the, in some of the, I, believe, I hear things that he left the right way. You know, he did. We came back after winning the Orange Bowl. He called me and said the Falcons might have interest in him, but he won't talk to them until I talk to him. Rich McKay, their general manager, called me. I said, you have permission to talk to him? He, he flew up and met with Bobby. Uh, Bobby, before Bobby left, he met with the team. You know, So he did everything the right way. I mean, that's kind of been lost in this translation. So uh, th that was something that was very Im important to me. But second chances to people, I mean, who am I to say you've got to be perfect? You know, I, I can't do that, Adam. I just can't do it. And if I see, if I see something wholesome about a person, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with it. To stick with the right way. Um, after he left, you said to someone, "But listen, we had, I think it was Eric. We had to clear out a lot of discipline issues after he left. Our numbers suffered. We cleared 21 kids out of here, and that's a lot to take it for anyone to take. We, we want to do things the right way. Mm -hmm. So I don't. I that don't was the old Bobby Petrino that I had. That was the old one I had, Adam. And so. I wanted to make sure that the, the new Bobby Petrino that I'm hiring isn't going to do that. That's what we did. We spent, he said it was 8.10. It was 8.10 Western time. It was after 9 my time when he left. So we had nine hours that I went hard on him. I went hard on every single piece. 
what I what I did not like about when he left. You know, because everybody knows, just say, everybody knows what kind of coach he is. So that that was the least of my words. You know, I want the periphery, and he, I, I'm very satisfied. What was the toughest thing you missed? <laughs> what was the number one thing that really stuck with you? You have, you have enough courage to look me in the eye and tell me you change. Because I said, if you lie to me, I'm going to kill you. Did you really You probably have more reason to be cynical than you thought. said, I'm going to change. There's no doubt. And there is no doubt. I mean, it, the, the guy that took the brunt, he's not even here. He's right here. Yeah, that's the guy. And that will not happen. That will not happen. And I'll ask you. Does he change man, Rock? You. I'm pointing now. I'm pointing you. Does he change? How many, when you see him up there and he gets really emotional when he talks about his family, I don't know if we've ever seen him like that before. Is that I didn't know he had emotions. He showed me a lot today. He showed me, and I love seeing that. You know, I loved it when Charlie did it because it's unscripted. That's what I like. Nope. What's the same? He really wants to be. He really. He, all he kept referring to me all the time was home. They're coming back home. They're coming back. Home. I remember when I hired him, that's what he said. He goes, I've never really had a, a place where I can tell my family this is, you know, he, he'd been, this, you know, like any other coach, they jump all around. And, he, and that's why, the first time, how stupid I was, I figured he'd stay. I really did. I thought he'd stay. But he was a hot commodity. I mean, he's as good as it gets. And everybody went after him. I said, why, why is this going to be different? Whoever asked the question about whether it's, I don't want to use any school's name, but you asked the question, and that's going to come up. That's going to come up. I mean, he's... I really truly feel I've been wrong. You know, you all know I've been wrong. So I really feel this is the this is the right time and the right place for him. Was there a moment with him? I mean, you have more reason than anybody in this room probably be cynical of him. But was there a moment with him when you thought, okay, start? <clears throat> I'm sorry, was there, sorry. Was there anything he said or anything that moment with him where you thought, okay, I'm starting? I wouldn't say there was one moment, but I just look at him in the eye. That's that's this everything to me because I'm a I'm for a heart. I want to see it from the heart. And he, he, he told me everything. He didn't tell me what I wanted to hear because we had a lot of, we had a lot of, we argued. We even argued. I mean, it was tough. It was a tough meeting. You know, 30 minutes of that meeting, if I was him, I'd have got up and left. How, so, much, how much do the pressures of the ACC sway you to wanting to hire someone like Trino and <coughs> No, I didn't, I didn't even think about it. I, mean, I didn't even think about it. I just want to best football coach for the University of Illinois. That's all I care about. So, what did you guys argue about? I wouldn't fight it for I wanted to be convinced. I wanted to be convinced. So I was convinced. Somebody yes. mentioned the number of players that have left the program after he left. Um, what was that number and the discipline problems? I've heard, I've heard speculation that a lot of that was the difference in disciplinary styles from him to the person who followed him. That he was more hard line and more disciplined um, and more staying on top of the guys and making sure they followed the rules. The very first day. And they were, they were different. The, the two coaches were very different. You all know that. You all covered it. Yeah, so was it a difference in how they related to the players that caused maybe some of the issues and it could discipline have been. problems yeah. later? It could have been. So, what kind of questions <coughs> did the committee have this morning? They said you don't have some issues. Do you feel like you had to persuade them, or mm -hmm. were they on the board? No, not. So, it's a seven year deal. We got several stuff in there, too. You know, it's, a, it's all the normal stuff. Moral causes. Is eight hours enough to really know if someone has changed? Can't answer that. Like he said, we got to show, he's going to have to show us. He's going to have to show us, but I wasn't going to spend any more. I was tired of looking. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Tara Lynn did get sick of me after eight minutes. So. Tom, do you have your way of making sure he adheres to what he says about being a change Can like, you elaborate on that? No, but I do. I do. Besides killing him. <laughs> Is the support structure around the football program different than when he was here? It's, it's much different. It's much different. From an academic standpoint, we've really been able to beef that up. Um, uh, from um, everything from compliance to academics to the social stuff, we've been able to beef everything. So I feel we're really in a good place. This is not the program he had for eight years. Were you ever nervous in announcing that you're always nervous, Adam. You're always nervous because you, 
you want to do the right thing. I love this school. That's why I stay. I love this school. I love this city. You know, but pressure doesn't bother me. More pressure with this, with the new ACC start. Really not. I, I didn't ever, Eric, even think of that. I want to do well in the ACC. You know, I made a strong commitment to John Swafford. I spent an hour, over an hour, on the phone with John about this. John's so, totally supportive of all this, and uh, he, he thought it was, he, thought, he thinks it's a great news. So I'm happy about that. You've always said you had the list. Was he on the list, or was he on like a separate? No, he was on the list. He's always. On the list. How could he not? How could he not? As you look back over the last three, four days, is there, is there something about the whole process that surprised you? As you look back and say, wow. I the only thing that, that surprised me is Charlie going to Texas. That's the only thing that surprised me. Was it Charlie leaving or Texas State? I don't know the answer for that. I really don't. Are you concerned about the hit that national media are going to say that Louisville traded integrity for winning? We take hits all the time. We take this all the time. It's just hard. It goes with it. You know, but we know what we stand for. And we're gonna we're gonna do the best. We run a very good, clean program. We've got a wonderful university. We've got great administrators that were sitting there. I feel very good. I, the way this school has moved and grown is is, is like a rocket ship. I just want to make sure we keep it on the same path. You mentioned uh, your meeting with Becky. Like looking in the eyes. Aside from that, was there something she said that? Had an impact on you? Or? Oh yeah, because she's a she's an ex a very very genuine, very genuine. She's been through a lot. What did what did she 